We will begin with the 12D model road flow training by double clicking on the 12D model icon on your desktop, either the 32-bit or the 64-bit version. You're initially presented with the Drive C 12D version 10 working folder. We'll move farther along that path by moving into our courses area, down to the 2 flow, selecting the Part 1 folder. This will become our working folder. And then the Part 1 project folder. By selecting the project folder, that name will be loaded as the project name, and we're ready to proceed. This Part 1 data set was installed when you installed your 12D. When 12D first starts up, you will be presented with the output window. We don't need this at the beginning, so we'll do a right mouse click, and we'll hide that window. We're now presented with five different windows. The first one is our plan view. Inside the plan view, you see that there are four strings. These four strings are used to create our tin that you can see in the section view up above. You'll notice that as you move your mouse across the section view, you can see a crosshair move across the plan view, indicating your position in plan. This trapezoidal section that we'll be using for the training, if you'd like to see that in our 3D perspective view, you can put your mouse over the plus button. I'm going to select the lowercase t on the keyboard, bringing up only the models that begin with lowercase t, and then selecting tin ground. By clicking in the view and roller mouse button, you'll notice that I redraw the view, and if I zoom out a bit farther, you can see the trapezoidal section that we're going to be using. The culvert that you see in the 3D view and in the section view down here will be used later on in the training. You'll notice that as I move my mouse across the section view, if I look down into the plan view, you'll see a yellow crosshair moving to the south. The views inside 12D are coordinated so that your mouse movements in one view are echoed into another. We're now ready to begin the road flow training, and we're going to be using rainfall on grid in our first example. <laughs> 